In 2009, I ran the Boston Marathon. 10 months later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I, I almost felt like a leper, like I had this bad disease and I didn't want anyone to know. My urologist, who said that my PSAs had skyrocketed, so there was a risk that I might have prostate. And then uh, that was, excuse me, the same day my father died. One in two American men and one in three women will hear the words, you have cancer at some point during their lifetimes. But before you throw up your hands in defeat, you should know that you are not powerless. Experts say that anywhere between 50 and 75% of cancers are due to lifestyle habits. So I created a nonprofit called the Anti-Cancer Lifestyle Foundation that gives cancer survivors and those interested in prevention the tools and information they need to reduce their odds of cancer and cancer recurrence. The other thing that's important about the curriculum is that it's evidence-based. So there's four components and they have leading experts helping out with each module. Well, since the anti-cancer lifestyle program, I was kind of amazed at how many choices that I had to make every day to live healthier. Something I never would have done before cancer was look at organic food and buying organic food and spending a little extra money from time to time because I think my life is worth it. I have really changed my way of eating. I eat a lot more fruits and vegetables. I eat a lot less processed foods. The end result is I feel healthier in general. I found it very positive. I changed my diet. We try to live a healthier in terms of reducing toxins. Just the whole stress reduction mindfulness piece of it was a help. Just through the support groups and having programs like this, I think the patients have more of a can-do attitude. People are less likely to give up and um, work with their providers and their team. Though our recommendations are based on cancer research, this program is also effective for preventing or managing other common chronic illnesses such as heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Your mental, emotional, and physical strength will grow when you learn how to use and implement the tools we present you with in this course. Now I've been running well, feeling strong. I think I'm more reflective. I understand myself better. When you're in the cancer battle, so much is done to you that you finally get to do something for yourself. And I think that was the most powerful piece of this program.